Okay, let me record this. So red, red is on the twenty second. I don't have any friends, no colleagues, no acquaintances. I have no one but myself. I'll. So I'm titling this video "Feels Like Running Away from Life." <laughs> so it felt like. Um, I live in a liberal democracy where you have choices and are supposed to be someone or expected to be someone or you're like an individual. You have your own identity, an individual. You are defined by your choices. But this is a great burden to me. It feels like a great burden to me. I don't want to make these choices. They seem so weighty. I want to shirk responsibility, I want to run away, I want to be invisible, I want to be a nobody. I don't want the burden of these choices, I want to run away, I want to be a nobody. I mean, a no body, an invisible body, I want to disappear. It's like I don't want to have, I don't want to be stuck in my body. <laughs> but alas, life, but life keeps calling me. It doesn't allow me a means of escape, unless, oh. <laughs> but I won't do that. I don't want to do that. No. Uh, you know, being trapped in my body. What is the way to escape? But you know, I don't want to do that. Not anyway, um, I guess I'm just sort of describing this feeling of being stuck in this. You're trapped in your body and in this life, it just feels like it's like it, it for life is forcing you to live, but you don't want to live, you just want to run away. I just want to run away, run away from it all. I just want things to go away and be as they are now, meaning in this place of limbo and indecision. It's like I don't want to be in life, but I can't escape life either, you know. You feel like you're just kind of stuck, trapped. Uh, I want to be left alone. I want to see you next day, I think. They say misery loves company, but I don't want to be miserable. I want a means of escape. I want to be free. But I'm not sure such a thing as freedom exists, at least. Uh, not in this present life. At least not in his present state of life, or uh, you know, I don't know what I want. Maybe I just want to feel unburdened, and this is what freedom feels like. That's a very question. Feeling burdened. I think I'm going to be okay. I know I will. I will get through this. I will walk down this path with calmness, steadfastness, and peace in my heart. I will be okay. So this is my like, and I feel like like this. This is like my sort of like response saying, "I'll be okay." Yes, I know it. Things feel very bad right now, but I'll be okay. I can get through this. Oh, so next day. Sometimes all I want is to hear a human's voice. Yes, it can get like that sometimes. Why are we like this? Why do we no need contact? There is something strange here. Like, why is it that when you feel like this, when you just talk to someone, it feels a little bit better? Why is that? That's kind of strange. It's like when you, sometimes when you're in a place where you feel so all alone and all that, and just by talking to someone or just hearing another human being, the interaction itself can be calming or soothing or some comforting kind of thing it's that's why i say there's something very strange about that why do we feel like we need that or why does that help us it's very strange you have a soul <laughs> uh, this, this is uh kind of like this song anyway i was listening to it oh 
my um, my statement on something I believe to be very important and which is uh, missing or is being uh, ignored obfuscated so the word confused or, or or in modern western society okay western society is the modern west uh, likes to treat everything in a technological way uh, it even treats humans as though we are easily manipulated um, manipulatable uh, robots uh, but they're missing something very important we have a body that is in very strong respects a machine the body is a machine but we have a soul and this soul is not something not something that you can uh, analyze as a system the, the soul is not technology it cannot be conceived uh, as a machine with constituent parts the soul is is some is a something more than the sum of its parts if you get my drift the soul is the place where meaning purpose value love truth beauty are to be found this is why a society of lies narratives falsity manipulations uh, is incompatible with the true happiness of the soul this is why a lot of people are depressed i believe in modern the modern rest is because of all the lying and the bullshit <laughs> the what's in your inner life your soul wants truth integrity it wants to feel whole but the but the west treats the human and humans as it's as we are robots that we can be you know manipulated and controlled and and then the, and this creates a lot of depression uh, one of the causes i think um we are not our bodies are machines but we have a soul and the soul is not a machine you can't treat the soul like oh, i'll just press this button i'll get this result the soul is not predictable like that soul wants something more the soul wants to be free but the you know the the, the, the soul wants to be free but he is trapped in a body which is uh, like a machine so there is an incompatibility incompatibility between the soul and the body which is like why i feel like we're, we're trapped you know like <laughs> the aliens <laughs> elohim think of us as soul containers because our bodies are like holding this soul which wants to be free and it is like a i, I feel it it's a trap i feel like this body is a trap um 
anyway, I think the West needs to change and it needs to go back to some kind of a humanistic way of looking at like our soul. It has to, it, the West needs to have a reconception of what it means to be human. What it means to be human is that we have a soul. That is the most important. What it means to be human is that we have a soul, a human soul. Animals have souls. It's not, it's not like all, all DNA tech-based life has a soul or some type of consciousness to varying degrees. Uh, you know, some are more conscious. And others, I guess, ah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I didn't. Uh, let me just deal with the more sentient that I can relate to. I don't know, if, like, how true. I think trees have some kind of consciousness, but I don't know if they have the same kind of level or degree or type that we have. But anyway, consciousness is something. It's uh, consciousness, if you can think of it, is it's like a water. The whole universe is is steaming with consciousness just like you can think of matter you see the universe you can see stars and planets and all that you can see consciousness is something that's also all over the place we just can't see it that's how my theory i don't have any way to prove it but i think i feel like that's what i feel like the whole i feel like consciousness is like an ether it's like a fundamental property of the universe um it's made up of some kind of stuff that allows feelings to exist. I don't think the brain just creates feelings. You know, the brain. I feel like the brain focuses us. I feel like each each human being is like a mini universe. If you think of the whole universe as one conscious mind, each uh, human being is like a little mini universe, and the event horizon, you know, the black hole, which separates one person or one being from another being is like this it's like a black hole event horizon there is like a a sense of separation but we're not really separate we're all yearning to become connected again i guess that's why when we when i was talking about like how when we talk to other people we feel comfort why do we want to connect with other people because we are trying to go back the place where we came from because i think our initial state of existence is this wholeness where we are like connected to the universe but by by, by creating a life you're taking this eternal connection and you're putting it into a, a bottle and and that being that in the bottle which you can think of as a body that being yearns to go back to its source it's a connection where it came from so I feel like we all are yearning to go back to where we came from, which is the universe, which is the the eternal all. This is my theory. This is just what what intuitively kind of makes sense to me based on all of my research. But anyway, yeah, we have a soul, and the soul wants to be free, but I feel like the soul is trapped in this body, and I feel like the beings who created us, the aliens, the Elohim, they're like keeping us trapped in the soul because it uh, because it, we are like useful tools for them i think they're using us to i think they are the ones who own this planet and we're like a part of the cattle <laughs> and they use us as soldiers as 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 to fight their wars if you look at the bible you see how god you know has his people and they fight other people and they're using us as cannon fodder as laborers who knows even like companions if you look at like in in the bible the sons of god came down and they and they and they and they, and they uh, desired the daughters of men <laughs> this is what's happening we are being used and i think the reason these creators they don't openly show themselves is because i think in the past when they when the gods used to walk among us the humans just figured out how badly these Elohim, these aliens were treating us and they rebelled and they fought back and then they had to, and the aliens killed them off. So they knew, they from past experience, they know that if they show themselves to us, we would rebel and fight back. So what they do is they hide behind the scenes and they manipulate things. I think, 
I think these guys are working with some elite humans and the other ones who are controlling the whole planet, doing world wars and they are micromanaging, I mean, they're macromanaging this from behind the scenes, but they don't want to show themselves because if they show themselves, we will fight them and they might end up destroying us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> The great flood because the humans are rebelled. So the God is not, our, our, the, in the Bible, the God is not like this good, just, it's, it's like, a, it's a story about how aliens came down and they're trying to, the aliens created us, they see us as their property, they're using us to do whatever they're doing on this planet. And they, I think there are various, various groups of them and they're fighting with each other for control of this planet. I think they value the planet much more than they value us. We're just like, we have, we're like being used. That's why I feel like this whole thing is so horrible.